In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and the peace of our good Lord be with you always. Dear friends, today we come before the Lord praying for healing. We pray for the healing of those uh, affected by coronavirus. We pray for healing in our own physical and spiritual and emotional wounds. And we trust as always in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came that we might have life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We put all of our trust and our hope in you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, we profess and believe that you are the Son of the living God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is fitting among holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk, which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Behave like God as his very dear children. Behave like God as his very dear children. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in a due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave, Behave like, like God, God as, as his, his very, very dear, dear children. children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, 
but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave, Behave like, like God, God as his, his very, very dear, dear children. children. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over completely, incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his axe, ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, Ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On days when I'm being good and, and taking better care of myself, uh, I put my headphones on and I go out to walk. But I'm not listening to music for the most part. I have the, the breviary, the, the liturgy of the hours on uh, uh, the, the iPhone. <clears throat> and so I pray the breviary as I walk. And then I have the rosary on the iPhone as well. And, I pray the rosary as I walk. At least that's the plan. Uh, what happens all too often is I start out with, Oh God, come to my assistance. Oh Lord, make haste to help me. The beginning of the Liturgy of the Hours. Uh, and somehow or another, I let my mind wander away from the Psalms and the readings. And before I know it, the Liturgy of the Hours is over or the decade of the rosary is over and I don't even remember which decade I'm on anymore. Um, and, and I know that sometimes we're like that even when we're physically present in church or I am sure when we're watching something like this on a computer monitor. Uh, our minds wander uh, and before you know it the mass is over and we feel badly because we we think our prayer was weak, if there at all. Um, our faith was not operative, um, that we wasted God's time and ours. Sometimes the best we can do is just show up. Just show up. Uh, in church, in front of the, the computer monitor, in our time of prayer, whatever it is. And I'm telling you this because of the woman we meet in today's gospel. For 18 years had been crippled, incapable, incapable of standing up straight. She did not ask Jesus to cure her. She did not come before him and say, have pity on me. 
She did not beg his mercy. She didn't even notice him, most probably. But she showed up. And Jesus saw her, was filled with compassion, and he healed. So the next time it feels that you've done a little more than just show up for prayer, show up for mass, show up for whatever, don't beat yourself up too badly. Think about that woman who was healed that day in the temple. God love you. And now let us come before our Heavenly Father with every prayer and petition. First of all, we pray for the whole church. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Vicar of Christ. We ask that God strengthen him to preach the good news of compassion, mercy, the gospel of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us remember to pray for all those who are ill and suffering, everyone who has asked for our prayers. We pray for health care workers, for essential workers, for those who serve us in any way in this time of pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask, Heavenly Father, that you who can do all things, Bring this time of crisis to an end. Restore us to hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, for Elsie Loby, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, we pray for Vince Francioli, who was buried on Friday. And for all of our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For every one of our own needs, for our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, God of mercy, accept our prayers. Please give all that we have asked. For we trust in you through Jesus. He is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty 
and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. You have no need of our praise. Our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through our Lord Jesus. So now in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with great joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the very body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome Elsie into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Peace, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Adelbert, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. And now let us offer together that great prayer that the Savior himself has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the good Lord be with you always. And dear friends, as best we can, with every good wish, let us offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Here is the Lord who takes away the sin of the world, happy are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. A prayer of spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, I believe and profess that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. Today I am un unable to approach the altar for communion because of this time of pandemic. Yet I know that you will come to me spiritually and dwell in my heart. Please heal me wherever and however I need to be healed and never allow me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in me what lies within them. And what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to serve and to love our Lord. Thanks be to God.